All right, now let's go over import and export motion. I'm actually going to start with export motion so that we can show off some of the import features later. So export motion is the, uh, the guy down here that's running with the arrow out. Just go ahead and click that. First, we can export FBX. This is for importing our animation into the Unreal Engine. Um, some of the buttons that we can see here are the character you want to export motion for. You can add animation sequences, so you can have your start, loop, and end. <clears throat> the weapon is if you had a prop in your scene, uh, say like you had a shotgun and you were doing a reload animation and you want to export both the animation of the character and the animation of the weapon, uh, you could choose the weapon in this list, give the weapon suffix a name, so this will be the suffix appended onto the weapon animation. So you could say uh, underscore shotgun, for example. And then it will automatically export out your reload for both the character and the weapon. You can choose the frame range of the project, which by default is going to use your time slider, the FPS, and the rotation interpolation. The Unreal Engine uses Quaternion Slurp. It's recommended that you probably set it to that. If you ever see weirdness um, with uh, how your rotations are coming in, you definitely want to try giving Quaternion Slurp a try. Um, and, oh, and then lastly, if you have any morph targets, which this character does not, you can just click on Export Morphs. The morphs for that character will show up in this list, and you can select them uh, to export. If you want to export animation, now this is actual animation data curves for the rig, so that you can import it onto other characters, or you can blend it with other animations. Uh, you can do that here. So you can export anim, give it a file name, give it a category. So we'll just call this tests. Pose, uh, we'll give it a category of tests. And we'll go ahead and hit export. Animation exported. And then let's also go ahead and give our FBX. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to relaunch this. And Sure, that seems fine. Sample.fbx, we'll go ahead and hit export. I made a simple, silly little animation. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. So it's kind of garbage, but you can see uh, how exporting FBXs work. Export complete. Now we can show off import. So what I'm actually gonna do is select all my controls and get rid of all the keys so that we are completely empty and so we can show off the uh, importing features. So if I scrub the timeline now, shadow no animation, go ahead and zero out all my controls. So our first import feature is importing mocap. This takes an FBX file, much like the one we just exported, and you can import it onto the selected character in the menu here. You can choose your import method, FK, IK, or both. The frame offset to import it on. So you can say, I want it to start in frame 100. And there's checkboxes for if you want it to solve the foot roll, since the, our IK rig is using a reverse foot, and solve the knee vectors, since our IK rig does not have a pole vector, it needs to actually calculate what value should be on the twist. Uh, you can also choose which parts to apply the motion. So let's go ahead and actually browse to our sample FBX. I'm going to choose both and I'm going to hit import. You can see now that the rig is getting that motion that we originally had and now it's solving for the IK pull vectors which we had checked in that option box. All right, so now that it's imported we can take a look. And you can see that it's imported the motion capture that we exported the FBX directly onto our controls. We've got our knee twist values in there that it's calculated for us. Oops, and I closed the import window. And lastly, we have import animation. So this is again importing animation data. It's the exact same anim we exported. Uh, you have your project, the character you want to import onto, the categories, so you can have a bunch of categories, and then the motion itself. Now, if you click on this, you can either import all the data or import onto selected controls. So you could just import, say, the upper body of a uh, reload animation and the lower body of a run animation. And that's import and export.